Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's time for part 3 in my little Kaleido series. And if you don't know what this is, I will leave my first part up here where I, where, where I talk a little bit about what this is. But I am doing a makeup look with each of the Kaleido's Futurism palettes and I'm also using a highlighter with the palette. And I got these highlighters in PR and I love the one that I've tried so far. So yes, we are going to do the Astro Pink of course because this is palette number 3. And if you don't know how this looks, it looks like this. So I actually think that I know what I want to do. And I think we just get started with this. So okay, for this look I think I will keep it pretty simple, I don't know. I am at least going to start with this one I put it in my crease. And the first one I was like thinking what I was going to do for this look. I was like, okay, I have to do something that I haven't done with this palette. But then I was like, I just want to do what I want to. If you get what I mean. So I'm just using the shades I want to use and doing a look. I think I would really like and if it is similar to what I have done before it is what it is I actually like this astro pink palette more than I thought I would the only thing this these two colors I don't think they both should be in this palette maybe like a brighter pink would have been good but I really like this one that I'm using in my crease, but I think it's too much to have two pretty neutral shades in a six pan palette. Okay, and then I will go in with this pink one. This is hard. <laughs> I'll go in with this pink one and put it all over my lid. But, but what I can remember, this stains a bit, but I guess I have a little bit of pink hint to my eye. Tomorrow at work then. It's nothing more than that. And I will just slap this on. On my whole lid. These last two weeks has been a little bit hard for me. Because I am... I'm not tired, but I don't have any energy, and for me that is not the same, but it's like, if you watch <laughs> some Swedish YouTubers, I guess that they all say the same. This darkness that is getting to Sweden now in winter. I hate it. It's pitch black when I go to work in the morning. It's still a little bit light when I come home from work, but it's like the sun hasn't been up for like two weeks. It's like a gray. First it's black, then it's gray, and then it's black again. And if you're wondering what the shades are called, I will leave that down in the description. I always do that now, like... Right, everything that I use... For all makeup looks, both my face and my eyes. And I really hope that you like it. Okay, and then I will go in with... I want to take this brush, I don't know if this is going to work with this shade, but I'm going in with this duochrome, it's blue and purple, and put it all over this. I don't know how this is going to look. I have put this over on top of black before, and I love that, but I wanted to put it over this. And it is not like sticking at all. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I can. Okay, maybe if I take my finger. 
I usually don't like to take my finger on my eyes because it doesn't feel like I have any control of it, but okay. And I feel that this shade is more like a topper. In my first impression with this palette, I used this and then I was like packing it on so, so much and it worked. But I think it's more like a topper shade. And now I have a lot of fallouts. So I think I am happy with the lids like this. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows but not my highlight and then we do the highlighter together and I'm going to use Comet Catcher that is a little bit of a pink hint to it so I will fix that and then I come back so time for the highlight and I am going to use the brush and okay so I'm going to use Comet Catcher and we will see how this is Okay, and why do I dig into the highlighter? Because we know how that went in the first video. Okay, this feels a little bit more of the... Okay, maybe not. This... I have to check this. Okay, because I have a theory. <laughs> some of them are called N and some of them are called Y. And this Solar Sailor was one of these. This I used in my first one, and it was very, very, very like out there and pretty chunky. And then in the second one, I used this one, and this was not as chunky. And this is an N one, and this is also an N one, and this is not chunky. This is really nice. This has. Like you can really, I can really see pink hint of it, but it like looks really good. But this one I really like, it feels very, like, I don't know. It's there, but it's not like screaming you in the face. And it's really pink and I think I actually like it. I will try to like shine with it with my flash the camera because I did it last time and uh, this is the same it's like so shimmer like this it's really really glitter but normal I like it maybe it isn't like an everyday highlight but it's not like it's not chunky and it's not like too much. So I think the N ones is my favorite so far. There is one more that is in an N and it's this one, Ray Rider. So we will see how this is. But my first impression with the Comet Catcher, I like it. It's pink and it really goes together with your skin. It goes together in with skin so I like this so I will spritz my face with some setting spray and then we do the under eyes together okay so for my under eyes I think I'll try to go in with this shimmer one and I will try without spraying so I will tap it off and then try to It feels like it's sticking, but and I don't have any fallouts. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid of what I am doing right now. I actually think I will go in a little bit with one I have on my lid. Just out here. Okay, so I will put something in my waterline, put on mascara and try to find a lippy and then I will come back and I do but it feels like I already done a real little review on this so I will fix the last things and then I will come back okay I really hope that I am in focus it feels like my camera is giving up on me right now so this is the fourth lipstick I have to this look and it doesn't suit I know but I am like yeah this is <laughs> 
matte lip liquid from Body Shop in Nairobi. It doesn't suit this look, but I have given up officially. And on my waterline, I took boots from ColourPop, and I like this look, and I really like this highlighter. I have wanted a pink highlighter because before I was like only wearing warmer highlighters and cold highlighters wasn't my thing but now like pink highlighters I think I like them and I like this one I don't know if this is my favorite or if Star Surfer is my favorite I think this far of this is my favorite so yeah, I really hope you like this video. We have two more parts to go. Yes, we do. Two more parts to go, two more highlighters to go, and two more eyeshadows to go. So I really hope you like this video, and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!